All right, so uh, this is part three of the Zoom tutorial lesson, uh, working with Ecamm Live and Zoom on how you can conduct an interview in there. So um, we already have our guest already all set up uh, inside of Zoom. So I'm not going to go over how you, you make the meeting because I think that's pretty self-explanatory uh, on creating it and joining it. And if you don't know, uh, Zoom has great documents on how that is done. Okay. Now the, uh, the the next part here is uh, so he, here's my guest, right? It's uh it's the little donkey, and I have him sitting right next to me over here. So there he is, right? So th the guest is on, uh, their microphone's on, and uh, you, you can see that your camera is not on. So I'm going to go. Well, my camera's not on. My actual eCam camera is not on. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. So you can see that the virtual camera is showing up right here. Okay. Uh, and then obviously your microphone has to be turned on so that the individual can hear it. Uh, I'm going to keep mine off. Okay. Uh, just because I don't want a feedback loop happening and it picking up that information. So uh, Ecamm uh, Live, their documents say uh, that this is what you would need to do in order to sort of, if you're just going to make a scene with them and then a, another scene with you. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that would look like, right? So let's go into Ecamm Live. And uh, this scene up here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rename this here and I'm going to call it uh, Zoom. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and share the desktop. So that's how you're going to have to bring that guest in. Okay. And then it said to make sure that you select Zoom here. So I'm going to go ahead and down here, go to, go to Zoom. And that will bring that into sort of like full focus, okay? Because you can share uh, just Zoom, you can share whatever you wish, but it said in here, make sure you choose the Zoom. And uh, if there is multiple, because I, I ran into this issue as well, if there is um, multiple things showing up here, um, you're going to need to tell Ecamm that you only want the Zoom meeting. So you, you do that by selecting zoom.us and you don't want participants, you want the Zoom meeting ID, okay? And that will make sure that that stays in full focus, okay? And then it said you can use uh, the zoom in, zoom out kind of things. Uh, what, what it's trying to do there is uh, you, you can see the buttons come in, right? Down here at the bottom. Uh, so. So yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and, and like zoom in on it, right? Okay. <clears throat> now with with that donkey in the picture, or you know your your interviewee in the picture, you set up them to be shown. Now it's uh, time to set up your scene to be uh, to be shown, right? So now you can go over to uh, a new scene, and I already have one pulled up. And it's just going to be you and the background, right? So let me go ahead and remask that. <clears throat> and uh, now I can talk. Now I can actually go from this scene here to the Zoom scene. So if your guest is speaking, you can go to them, and if you're speaking, you can go to you. So you're going to be in charge of it that way. Now uh, another way to sort of uh, get into, um, you know, well, can we both be on the same screen? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what that lo would look like. So uh, since you are sharing your screen, you can do a picture in picture. So you can bring your picture in here. Um, I think what might be nicer, maybe if you were to uh, potentially go ahead and change the picture in picture here from this large rectangle, um, you could potentially Go up here to Options, uh, Picture in Picture Shape. You can go round. That might be uh, a better way to sort of have a conversation with the person on Zoom. Okay, so so that bit that'd be a way to do it. Uh, now another way that I that I kind of like uh, is what we're going to go into next, which is how you can both sort of be on the same screen with uh, them being wide and you being wide. Okay, so we'll, we'll take a look at that here as well. All right, so this is uh, sort of where we left off at um, in the video. 
So you, you could do this, right? The, the speaker, and then you in a little picture in picture and sort of have a conversation like that. Uh, here are some other examples that uh, may work. And uh, we were talking about having the wide section, right? Uh, so that you're both kind of like wide. Um, well, a way to do that in, in here is uh, we first have to go to Zoom. And so uh, I'm in Zoom. You can see that I've got the Zoom meeting here. Uh, the way to do that in here is to go up here to Gallery View. And when you go Gallery View, now if you have two people speaking, one person uh, you know, has the box over here, the other person has the box over here. So we have two boxes. Um, and I think it might be better to find if I could go back to Ecamm and just put on my virtual camera. Okay, so let's go back to Zoom. So now you can see that the donkey is wide in a wide shot. I'm in a wide shot. But uh, if we take a look at Ecamm, the only, the only thing that is being broadcasted is, is me, you know, not my guest. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with it. So here, here are some examples that uh, I was, I was going to talk about, and I'm going to show you how to do these, uh, both examples. And then our, our last and final part of Zoom, uh, we'll go through the, you know, sort of like the final project, right? So I have these other scenes set up, but again, I'm going to show you how to do this. So here, here's another example, right? So we have the, uh, the donkey and uh, myself all in the same picture. And, uh, you know, we can still have a conversation side by side. Uh, you know, kind of drawbacks here with this is uh, you, you can see that I'm taking up a wide space um, of this. And, uh, you, you know, your interviewee, uh, your, yeah, your interviewee uh, sort of gets, uh, gets sideswiped there, right? Uh, the other example here is to sort of have you as the host a little bit bigger and the the guest there sort of uh you know not not as not as big there right so that that might be a way to do that uh so let's go ahead and talk about how we can how we can knock this out so the the first thing uh again uh inside zoom you want to make sure that you're in the uh the gallery view um that we are in right now um, that would have said gallery so we have speaker and gallery so make sure you're in gallery view um, over in Ecamm Live, you're going to go ahead and share the screen, obviously. You're going to change this picture-in-picture -picture that you have here. Uh, go up to the Options, Picture-in-Picture -picture Shape, and you can change that back to Wide. And now you can just, uh, this is all I did, is uh, I made it kind of kind of big. I try to, I try to squeeze it in uh, to almost be the exact same size as, uh, as we had it in Zoom there. So that might be a way to do it, right? So there you go. So now we're side by side and we can have a full conversation together. Okay. Add a, add a few, um, you know, text, text overlays in here on who's who, and you should be, should be good to go. Um, the, this one right here where your uh, the picture in picture shape is a little bit different. So let's go back here, um, and go up to the, Options, picture and picture shape. We'll go to classic. And this is where I said where you can make yourself a little bit bigger and your interview E is a little bit smaller. Okay. And again, you can zoom in, zoom out on your interview E uh, by using the scroll wheel or if you're on a trackpad, pinch to zoom kind of thing. Right. Um, so that's how that would work. Now, the, the final project here, and that's going to be our, our last and final video, is to sort of show you that you can have, um, have yourself set up in this kind of fashion, right? And let's go ahead and turn on an overlay. So I was practicing this last night with my, my son anyway, but his, his name's Corbin. But you can change your picture size here and move you in the box. And there you go. You know, maybe maybe get donkey zoomed out just a little bit. But you, you can sort of see how this may be your final uh, final approach if you're going to be doing an interviewer. Okay. Um, one thing before we move on to that last and final project on, on how to create something like this, right, um, is the the system audio. I wanted to bring this up, guys, because in order for your audience to hear your guests speak, you need to be looking at the system audio. So right now I have the donkey's microphone turned on. 
so that uh, the you know that I can hear the donkey. So the only reason why you can hear the system audio or you see the system audio levels is because I'm in the same room as that donkey. Okay, um, but if you're not seeing these level bars go up and down, um, that is where you go into Zoom. Remember, I told you in the system preferences. Under the audio, um, I wanted to just show this to you. You want to have it same as system, uh, because if I just put my normal uh, headset on here, uh, take a look at the system audio. It's not moving. That, those bars are not moving at all. So um, that's why, I, I mean, I see this problem a lot in the groups that I'm in here. People are saying, hey, they're Facebook guests, they're YouTube guests. Uh, you know, they uh, cannot hear when they're being streamed, but you can hear them perfectly. So now we now we see the system audio and it is working uh, as advertised. Okay. So um, with that said, we we saw several ways to sort of uh, set up your your Zoom uh, your Zoom room there, and making sure that if you're in speaker view compared to gallery view, uh, and then uh, we also took a look at doing picture in picture with a circle. We did uh, the, uh, the one where you're sort of wide, right? And we also did the one where uh, where our picture is a little bit bigger than, than theirs, okay? So um, go ahead and watch the next video if you want. Um, like I said, it's just going to be extra if you wanted to take advantage of, you know, maybe spice, you know, you know just spicing up your, your video a little bit with uh, a simple overlay, right? So, all right. So I will, with that, I'm Rob and I will see you in that next video. Okay.